Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Monica and today I figured I'd just take you guys along with me for the day. So I'm going to just be doing a day in my life type of video. So this morning um, I woke up pretty early, couldn't sleep for a number of reasons, um, but I had my coffee and then I just decided that I would start filming a day in my life video randomly. Um, this wasn't planned. So I did do a morning workout. I haven't worked out for just a little bit over a week now. Um, so today is a Monday for me and I decided that today was the day to get back on my grind and get back into my regular workout routine. Um, the last few weeks have been so crazy for me. Um, I've been going through some personal things and, um, I also started a new job, so I've just been totally all over the place, um, hence why I haven't really been um, creating a lot of YouTube content. So I decided that I just filmed today and just kind of catch you guys up on what's been going on. So yeah, I'm just doing my skincare right now. I just got out of the shower because I usually like to take a shower after a workout, at least like a body shower because I just feel really gross afterwards. Um, and I'm just doing my skincare. Um, in the morning, I keep my skincare super simple. So I just put on my Martina Gebhardt Eye Care Eye Cream. And then... I put on the Ordinary Natural Moisturizing Factors Plus HA. And now I'm just going to put on some of my sunscreen. This is by Supergoop. And it's super dewy. So if you are more um, on the oily skin type, you might not like this specific sunscreen. I would definitely suggest Kula. They have a really great clean... Um, sunscreen options and they have um, a mattifying uh, sunscreen which is amazing I actually love it so um, it's definitely a toss-up between this one here and the Kula mattifying one they also have tinted sunscreen so if you typically don't do well with um, like a white sunscreen the tinted one will be great so yeah today on the agenda um I have to actually drop off a package at the post office. My mom uh, got a few pieces from Shein and unfortunately a couple of items don't fit as well as we'd like. So um, I'm just going to do a re quick return and then I'm also just going to get a Manny and Petty with my mom. Because here in Ontario things have finally opened up. We're in stage 2 so nail salons are finally open so we are going to do that and then while I'm out I do also need to grab some groceries so I'm going to do that as well and then after that I do need to jump on my computer and I need to uh, reply to a few emails that sort of thing and just kind of get myself prepared for tomorrow and for the rest of the week um, so this new job that I started is a part-time job for it now um, and hopefully it will pick up and move into a full-time position um, because I do prefer to work full-time um, just because you know more money um, however I really do like the flexibility and I do actually enjoy having a part-time job because um, it still allows me to focus on myself and my health. And I also want to continue creating content for Instagram and my YouTube channel. So I just need to kind of like juggle everything and kind of organize my day or plan my days better um, so that way I'm not finding myself 
getting overwhelmed and I can actually get everything that I want done, if that makes sense. I feel like I wasn't really organized the last few weeks, so I was just kind of all over the place, not prioritizing certain tasks. So I feel like YouTube definitely um, was being ignored, but it's something that I don't want to ignore or stop doing, if that makes sense. So I am going to get my shit together and organize my life so that way I have a perfect balance of work and playtime. So right now I'm just going to just fix myself up. I don't really wear much makeup these days, you guys, because it's been so stinking hot here. It's so humid and then it rains and Toronto's weather has just been so 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 unpredictable you guys so yeah I'm just not in the mood of wearing a full face of makeup and then we still also have to wear masks and it just doesn't really make sense to wear a full face of makeup when I have to wear a mask that basically you know covers up my entire face and then my makeup will just rub off anyways so I'm just doing my brows just filling them in a little bit um and then i just put on some of this nyx control freak clear brow gel just kind of keep the hairs in place i think i'm gonna just put on a little bit of mascara lip balm and then i think i'm just gonna call it a day so i just got dressed so the fit is very casual for the day but i'm obsessed so both pieces i'm wearing are from gymshark also please excuse the dirty mirror and everything else in the background because today is just going to be one of those days where i'm just going to get my shit together clean my room after i run some errands with my mom and all that jazz but i just wanted to show you guys this fit because again it is from gymshark and i'm just honestly obsessed i'm so happy with these items so these shorts i have to double check the exact like naming for the shorts i'll have them linked down below because i'm telling you you need them in your life because i'm the type of girl who always just has like a little bit of a pouch a little bit of a belly here it's so hard to get rid of but with these shorts they just like hug me in so well so it doesn't like really show which I'm so happy about um I did get another pair of Gymshark shorts that are a little bit longer of a short which is really nice but um I think the style is a little bit different because it doesn't hug me in as well as I'd like them to. If you have a flat stomach, then like, girl, you got no issues. But if you have a little bit of a pudge like me, sometimes you want something that just, you know, it's going to hug you in a little bit more. And these shorts will do that for you. So I'm obsessed. I got these in a size medium because I'm just a little bit thicker on the bottom. I have thicker thighs, a little bit of a booty. Um, so I'm a typically like a size six. And then for the tops, I'm usually like a size two to four, really depends on the style. So I got this fraction crop top in a size small, fits me perfectly. Um, and then just underneath, I'm just wearing a TNA like little bralette type thing so super casual perfect fit for the day today is super hot and humid so i think this fit is just going to be perfect for today
I feel so hot right now, you guys. I just got home. I'm just sitting in front of my fan right now so I can cool off for a bit. I honestly just want to jump in the shower, but I'm going to just wait and shower a little bit later in the evening before I go to bed. Um, because I think I'm going to use this time right now to just tidy up my bedroom a bit. Um, I like to clean my space at least once a week, um, because I need to have a clean space to be in. But, yeah, I'm done all of my errands, at least majority of my errands for the day. It's already 2.45pm and I've gone to get my nails done. So I just actually did like a very simple nail. I did shellac on my hand, so I got this like really cute light pink color and in the sun it's actually like sparkly which is actually cute i didn't even realize it was but i just wanted something super simple and natural for my nails especially for work i don't think i would do well with having like long fake nails and if i do have long nails i'd rather just grow my own nails out but for now um they're cute and I did a pedicure, which felt so nice, honestly. Um, and I just painted my toes white. And I just did like a regular polish because I feel like nail polish typically lasts a lot longer on my feet. And I was wearing slides, so the dry time was pretty quick. So, yeah, I got my groceries done. I also went to a Portuguese bakery because they honestly have the best buns ever they're so good and so I grabbed a bunch for Nick to make for his lunch um, this week some cold cuts that sort of thing um, I've been replying to emails I feel like I need to like go back onto my email and just check to see that I got all of those emails replied to but yeah I've just been running around all day it feels I haven't really had a moment to like sit down and chill but I don't really care because I have the evening to do that and I just really feel like I might as well use this time effectively and just get my shit together because I hate starting the week without all my ducks in a row if that makes any sense so I'm going to stop chit-chatting I'm going to get this room tidied up a bit i'm already cooling down which is great but yeah i hope you guys are enjoying this video so far um i don't really know what kind of footage i have all together just yet so hopefully it's a good one and if you are enjoying this video definitely drop a thumbs up like this video subscribe i definitely want to come out with more videos so if you guys have any suggestions on some videos that you'd like to see from me let me know in the comments down below um i definitely like i said earlier today i do want to prioritize my youtube channel and things have just been so hectic lately lately can't even talk sometimes but yeah i'm just going to probably get some ideas going uh this week but uh, it doesn't hurt if you guys have any suggestions because I'd love to create content that you want to see, of course. That's what's the most important. But yeah, I'm just going to tidy this room up. I don't know how many times I'm going to say that. And I will check back in with you guys a little bit. So actually, before I continue cleaning, I actually wanted to show you guys these shoes. I got them from Walmart the other day, and they were only 25 bucks, I think. Yeah, 25 but um, they are so cute and minimal, and they're actually really comfortable. I love how it has like a thick platform, but it's not super high. Um, I got a size 8 and yeah it just fits so stinking well um and they're actually really really comfortable um i have rheumatoid arthritis so it's really important for me to have comfortable shoes um but i do want something that looks good also so yeah i found these like i said from 
Walmart and I just thought they were so stinking cute. I think they had a pair in black, um, but I got the pair in white. So yeah, if you guys are looking for a really comfortable pair of slides to wear for the summertime, I would definitely check these um, slides out because like I said, they're super comfortable. I feel like my foot's definitely supported in these shoes. Um, so I might actually wear them tomorrow to kind of wear them in. But yeah, I don't know if there's a specific name for these shoes, but I think that's like the code. So if you guys want to type that in, maybe you'll find them. But yeah, I think they are definitely going to be worth wearing for this summer. So I figured to share with you guys because they are super cute and stylish, but very comfortable at the same time, which I think is super important. So I am now outside making some barbecue. Um, excuse the AC in the background, but at least it keeps the house nice and cold. I'll show you guys here what I'm making. So I grabbed some boneless, skinless, chicken thighs at the grocery store today and I seasoned it with just some salt, pepper, chili powder and sriracha and some adobo seasoning which is so yummy so I'm just putting these bad boys here on the barbecue and then I'm also making some home fries that's going to happen indoors and then here I just cut up some red bell pepper and we have some mushroom and I also seasoned that with some salt and pepper. And they are just going to cook on the grill here for a little bit. And we're going to have a really yummy dinner. Simple and yummy. Hey cutie. So it's evening time for me. It's now 9 p.m. and I'm ready to just unwind for the night. I already took a shower, did my skincare and all that jazz, got my shit ready for work tomorrow. So everything's all ready to go. So I'm hoping that tomorrow morning goes smoothly one thing that I've actually been dealing with recently um, is my anxiety um, it has gone so bad to the point where it's made me physically sick I've lost sleep over it um, the list goes on I've always dealt with anxiety but um, just for whatever reason, the last few weeks, um, I like said in the beginning of this video that I've been going through some like personal shit, and uh, yeah, it's just been really, really bad. Um, it's kind of hard to just put into words, but I think one of my next steps. Um, is just seeking out for some help because like I said it's some days my anxiety is so bad that I honestly just I just can't take it anymore like I know I'm laughing and smiling right now but that's kind of how I react sometimes to negative things um, so yeah I don't know I'm just rambling right now but the reason why I wanted to speak out on it is because I know deep down that I can't be the only one who deals with anxiety to the point where it makes you physically sick, where you think that you can't do anything else that day. It's just, you're just so drained, sick to your stomach, all that. So let me know if any of you do deal with anxiety if you do ever physically get sick from anxiety if so please let me know what helps you 
um, fight through it because I know I could either consider anxiety medication or maybe doing some sort of therapy, just talking to somebody, maybe it'll help. But I'm at that point where I'm almost willing to try anything just to get some sort of relief because it's not a way of living. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, I just hope that the next few weeks go well and I can get my anxiety, you know, under control, but it's, it's kind of hard and it's fucked up that like your subconscious is like trying to defeat you because sometimes I try to just tell myself like you're fine nothing bad is going to happen I know these things but my body reacts the opposite way it's just it's fucked up worse can like I said can can't even describe how I feel sometimes um but yeah I just wanted to again say it because I just know I can't be alone in this and if you are struggling with anxiety let me know and any ways that you might find that helps um with your anxiety so yeah <laughs> I'm going to stop rambling I'm going to end this video off for the day because I need to unwind for the night and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video day in my life and again let me know in the description box down below any video recommendations that you like to see from me and any tips on dealing with anxiety that'd be very very helpful and yeah I can't wait to see you guys on my next video and I hope you guys have a wonderful day whenever you're watching this. Bye.